Hey, and welcome back to an episode of Beyond the Pot. Think about it. What would you like on a nice, warm day? Ice cream. You got it, ice cream. Check out this video that me and my kids shot during quarantine. We are making ice cream not one, but two ways. Check this out. For our first ice cream, we will be using heavy cream, vanilla extract, sugar, some ice, and some salt. So first we'll need one cup of heavy cream. We'll put that in our bowl. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. two tablespoons of sugar, one, and two. What we're gonna do, we're gonna mix this up. Mix it up real good. Make sure your vanilla and your sugar is incorporated. Really, really good. And now, I have two sizes of Ziploc bags. I have a quart bag and I have a gallon bag. This quart bag is gonna get the ice cream mixture. And then we're gonna put it inside of the gallon bag with some ice. It's all in there. Make sure it all goes in. Make sure you get as much air out as you can. Now, we're gonna take our gallon bag and we're gonna put some ice in it. We'll put ice. That takes a little time, so I'm gonna try and pour it in. We have ice. We're gonna take some salt and I have some coarse grain salt coarse salt, meaning it's a thicker kind of salt, but you can also use fine salt, granulated fine salt. And what that does, the salt mixes with the ice and it drops the temperature of the ice, which in turn helps the ice cream to make ice cream. We're gonna put that bag inside of that bag. Make sure it gets in there real good. And then we're gonna put some more ice on top. Get in there, ice. It's all in there. And what we're gonna do, we are going to shake this bag for about five to eight minutes and shake it real good. Just shake, shake, shake till you can. Shake, shake, shake it, shake, shake it. If your hands get too cold, I got a towel. Take a towel and put your ice cream bag in the towel. But make sure all your air is out of your gallon bag, okay? So we'll fold it up in there. And we'll just shake. And we'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've shaken this for about eight minutes. And now let's see what we have. I forgot to tell you, you can also use milk instead of cream if you don't have like heavy cream. You can use milk also, and it'll work just the same. Let's see. I think it worked, guys. Let's see. It did, look at that. We have made ice cream. I'm gonna taste it. That tastes just like vanilla ice cream as if you was to buy it in the store. Now, what I would do 
is get some cool toppings like sprinkles or strawberries or chocolate syrup and make sundaes. So enjoy your ice cream. And now for our second ice cream. This time we'll be using our electric mixer. If you don't have anything like this, like a KitchenAid, you can use a hand mixer with the beaters on the bottom. So don't worry about that. And so first we're going to start with, make sure your mixer is locked. So unlocked is like this, locked is like that. And so first we're going to add our one cup of heavy cream. And we're just going to mix that. I'm going to mix that until it forms stiff peak. So now, since we have soft peaks forming in our whipped cream, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. That, that is what makes our vanilla ice cream. So we have our vanilla in, and then we keep mixing until we get so, um, really big, thick peaks. And then we'll add our sweetened condensed milk. That's our sweetener. We add the whole can. Almost there. Whoop, on the side. Almost there. Gotta open this and scrape it out. Look at that. Woo. Looks really good in there. There we go. It's all mixing in really well. Make sure you mix it really well. And that's the end. So now, I'm gonna take this. Let's see if we can get that off. Take that off. And we're gonna pour this into our freezer container. Pour that in there. And that is it, folks. Literally, you're just gonna take this, you're gonna pop a lid on it, put it in the freezer, and wait about four hours, and then you will have vanilla ice cream. So friends, it's been four hours, and I've taken out my ice cream. Now let's see if it has come to a freeze. Whoop! <gasps> Look at that. It has come to a freeze. It's not moving. I'm gonna taste it. Oh my goodness. It's like soft serve vanilla ice cream. It is so good. Now, when I come back, I'm gonna have some friends, my kids, taste the ice cream and tell me which one they think is better. Hey guys, I'm back and I brought my kids along. This is James, Mackenzie, and Justice. And we're gonna try the ice creams. So, the first ice cream we're gonna try is the bag ice cream. This is the one we shook with the ice and the salt for about eight minutes. Look at it, it's froze. So, I'm gonna have everyone try it. Tell me what you think. Get a spoon. You try, Mackenzie? James will try. No, no, I'll try to. Okay, that's one. Now we're gonna try our mixer no churn ice cream that we put in the freezer for four hours. Your turn. Mmm, it's soft. Yeah, it's like soft serve. Okay, verdict. Now, just us, which one do you like? Baggy ice cream or churn, no churn ice cream? Baggy. Baggy gets one. 
Mackenzie, your turn. Baggy ice cream or no churn ice cream? Baggy. Baggy gets two. James, your turn. Baggy ice cream or no churn ice cream? Baggy gets three. That is three to one. Three to zero, folks, because actually it's four, because I like the baggy better too. So baggy ice cream gets it all the way. We got fours across. Womp womp, sorry, no churn. But it's still good, it was a great experiment. So if you want to try these at home, by all means, you can have all different kinds of toppings, whipped cream, um, chocolate syrup, sprinkles, strawberries, cherries, whatever you want. But that was our science experiment for today. So I hope you like your ice cream and tell me which one you like, the baggy or the no churn. I hope you like this episode. And I want you to let me know if you try this with your kids, even if you don't have kids, you should try it. If you like the baggy or the no churn. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Beyond the Pot. I'll catch y'all next time.